Good day viewers, welcome to Cybertech Arena. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use a tool called Armitage to perform array team engagement ranging from uh, scanning, exploitation, and persistence and the rest of them. But <clears throat> this video, I'm making it specifically for uh, smaller businesses who do not have money to pay for penetration testers but this method works for any website this method works for any website so Amitage it's the graphical user interface of uh, Metasploit uh, Metasploit is a tool in Kali Linux as we all know so before we proceed further hacking is illegal if you must hack do it ethically or do it with appropriate uh, permission. In this video, I'll be using um, Metasploit Table 2. Uh, Metasploit Table 2 is um, a tool that is um, vulnerable, intentionally vulnerable. I will use it like that. So it's intentionally vulnerable. So we'll be using it uh, to try out this whole uh, thing. Okay. So uh, I need the IP of this, so I'll use uh, if config I have config. So I'm on 192.168.43. Uh, that uh, 105. Okay, <clears throat> so now, uh, let's say, um, for example, I have Amitage here. When you go to your this thing here and you type it Amitage, I have it here. But the reason why I will not use that is most people, when you go online and see other people who made this video or who tried it out, you see in the comment section that people are complaining why their own is not working. So there's a lot to that. But before we proceed, the first thing I want us to do is let us elevate uh, to root first because that's one of the problem why uh, most people encounter so at the end of the day when they scan I put my password when they scan uh, certain things don't come out or there's a problem because you're not a super user to perform certain tasks so now here the first thing i want us to do is uh, we we'll start uh, our postgres sql so we just uh, service postgresql uh, start that's the command so if it runs successfully uh, without any error you know everything is okay so now another thing is most people encounter difficulties with their armitage and metasploit so uh, the reason is certain dependencies might be broken on your Kali installation and I also made a video where uh, you can fix everything automatically so I'll be linking the video in the description okay uh, so you can go check it out and also for the Metasploit Table 2 if you want to practice you can I will also link the link I will link it down there also you can how to install Metasploit Table so you can practice in your own personal lab I'm doing this in my own lab environment so after that let's power up Armitage so I'll use the command uh, Armitage okay you hit enter so wait for it to do it things it's going to take a bit of time for it to load so but i'll cut the video and just meet up in uh, every side that needs you to do something for example like here you click on connect okay so you won't do it here again you click on yes so you let it do it in okay so i'll meet you up when it's done it's going to take a while so so as you can see uh, Armitage is uh, loading up uh, permit my listing it's slow so the reason I wanted to run Armitage here it's uh, 
Firstly, without root privileges, you will encounter some issues. That's why when some people run the Armitage, they tell you like they couldn't exploit anything. So those are the mistakes they make. So always run it from the command. Just type, just the way I do it, follow the video. But make sure you already move to root uh, before you do it. So here, it's, uh, like I said, it's nothing uh, difficult here. You just don't let the whole interface confuse you. You just have to pay attention to a few things. So the first thing we need to do is... Um, I'll just tell you, um, we go to OS Dictation, just like when you're pen testing every, anything, everything online is like a computer that is online. So when you know the OS first, then you know what to look for. So we need an OS scan, okay? So um, I'll be using the Metasploit table uh, that I already installed. So we go get the IP for the metasploitable machine. So it's going to be uh, one nine two dot one six eight. Dot, I think for three dot what let's go check it out it's going to be a one nine two dot one six eight dot four three dot one oh five okay dot, uh, dot one oh five so all you just need to do is click OK and you let it do it thing so it's going to source <coughs> uh for the distance so don't mind here uh here is just uh uh like what this is going to do is the normal command you would have run in nmap you, you understand that's what it's going to run here for you but everything is automated all you just need to do is put the ip so I'll take you from step to step. You're going to see how uh, we are going to exploit the machine, this uh, metasploitable tool machine, it's so easily. So it's the same thing with your website. If you have a website, uh, you don't have money for pen testing and you want to do it on your own. So it's easy. You can do it. Okay. But this works for any website. And mind you, don't do this to any website you do not have permission to okay so as you can see uh in nmap this would have been the command you would have uh, run uh, so those who are familiar with um, nmap know what the t4 is okay you know what v is so let's wait for our scan to be done. Okay, so this so um, our scan is almost done. We are waiting for the OS. The symbol has to be there. Use attack. Okay, finally. Our uh, scan is done. As you can see, uh, this little penguin here, uh, it's Linux. It shows it's Linux. All right. To exploit this lineage, Linux um, operating system, what we have to do is um, let's go to... Uh, let me scroll down first. Uh, there are two ways you can exploit it, okay? But I wouldn't do that. I want us to do the manual method. For example, here you can go to attack and you can go to find attack. Okay. Or you can do Hail Mary. So Hail Mary is going to lodge a barrage of attack. So whichever one that works out, it's fine. But if you're doing something stealthy, by stealthy, I mean you don't want noisy something. 
uh, Hail Mary wouldn't be an option because it's there's nothing stealthy about Hail Mary. Okay, you can use this one, but uh, let me teach you how to do this manually. Okay, uh, so let's say I scroll back to my search. Uh, this is what every pen tester or red team is going to do. So let's say this this is the version FTP vs uh, FTP 2.3. Okay, so let's go to exploit. Let's scroll down. Um, uh, this is Linux, but let's check in Unix, also Unix. So under FTP, okay, let me expand this for you to see clearly. Let's see, okay, as you can see, the exploit is here. The, the same uh, version. So as you can see, the uh, this thing is here, okay. Let's say um, you can just drag it here if you want. You can drag it. I prefer you drag it. When you drag it, it fills in the distance for you, okay? But when you double click it, sometimes you need to fill in the arrow holes and some details. So I think I want to use a reverse connection, okay? I'll take reverse connection. So we click on launch. Okay, let me make this thing bigger so it's easy for you to see so let's keep watching here the value specified for payload is not uh, available so everything is automatic as you can see just watch here watch this this thing why you put an eye on what's going on down here as you can see this thunderstorm here uh mark here shows like you've exploited this system you've hacked it in a layman's language this system has been hacked okay uh, it's been pawned already so as you can see uh command shell one open blah 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 you can see okay so if you want to uh interact with the, this thing you can also do it as you can see ls you see amitage uh, amitage logo blah 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 uh you can use a uh, who am i sorry about the who am i what's wrong with my keyboard so who am i you can see i'm root so i i i, I because if you remember when we started this thing we elevated privilege to root so that we don't have any problem while running this you can see i'm root so okay we've exploited this system so if you want to go further like say you want to interact with the shell by interacting with the shell you want to go further you want to add persistence or whatever but i'll be stopping the video here i hope this makes sense to you so if you have a little uh, small business and you don't have money yet to pay this is the simplest and most easy way for you to perform penetration testing on your website all right i'll be ending this video here if you haven't subscribed please do like share and comment thank you